Hello everyone and welcome back to some more budget magic. Uh, so just going to start off this day. I've updated the wish list. I'm not going to go through all these cards. I just wanted to have a little screen grab in case anybody wanted to know what I felt were some good commons and uncommons to pick up if you're playing MTG Arena on a budget. Um, but mostly just going to show this off and so whenever we do a big pack opening, which I will be going through this on Monday whenever I do my live episode and we get those big pack openings, but just wanting to show, like I said, show off some cards that I think are really good in the format right now. And these are going to be the cards from the Kaldheim packs we're hoping to pick up. And I know if you will notice, there's the Village Rights Terror. Okay, so these are two that I have from M21, but it is also in Kaldheim. Hoping to just pick up a play set of these from there. They are common, so shouldn't be too bad, but at least want to pick up the other two because they are really good and they do fit into a lot of archetypes. And so I feel like I can get all these basic versions of the deck built up, and then over the next month or two, I'll start expanding into playing theme decks on a budget. Uh, but with that, that's really all we're going to look at here. Now I'll just shift over and see uh, where we're at. Pretty much going to finish in platinum, which means there'll be three packs added plus a thousand gold. So that'll be four more Kaldheim packs plus the nine that I've got here waiting. And so that'll be 13. Uh, looks like I've got enough gold where it'll be easily 14 and then just whatever I get done as far as dailies in the next two days. So with that, we'll do our normal process. Go to the store, check and see if anything's there. This is a Demir theme, uh, but it's just aesthetics and sleeves. So nothing to see here. And now just doing dailies. I have no particular deck, deck picked out. Pretty much just going to play the best one I see here. Um, definitely want to re-roll this. It's just a generic one. Got a 750, so playing white or blue spells. Blue is clearly the inferior deck that I have, so just going to stick it out with some mono white. Let's jump into some games, see how fast we can get these spells cast and get four wins in. That 750 was huge, that's another pack. So it'll be looking like at least 15 or 16 packs. Uh, two decent bombs, a one and two drop. Can't ask for much more, just need to hit lands and maybe a banner along the way. Gonna go ahead and cast these adventure spells. I've got Tactician to tap something down. That being said, Venerable Knight's just as much damage and I can hold this Shepherd of the Flock back. Maybe I'll need to reuse Apparition or Guide Mother, who knows. Ooh, Chevelle. Okay, I really need to hit my land drop here. Perfect. Let's get him out of the way. Chevelle always reminds me of the group. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so we got a Death Touch theme deck here. Let's see. Okay. Let's see, this is Death Touch, so maybe Tactician. Hmm. Uh, just swing the flyer and then maybe get in for some big damage the next few turns. Hopefully my opponent just plays another creature and passes something like that. Okay, so this is going to kill Apparition. My opponent will have two creatures in play, so I can tap down if I want to. Okay. 
Okay, put a counter on a creature. Let's go with this one. Swing these because they trade and I can... Okay. And then I'll get a token. Finn will be gone. Nice, a little bit of synergy there. Okay, and I can tap down Finn and another creature. Oh, ram through, but I do get a token. Okay. Gonna have to finish off a, a little bit. Oof, okay, that's going to take out a token. Do have to remember that this can pump itself. <clears throat> so just going to be tapping down one creature. Ooh, that's perfect. That may be how I finish off the game. Got it. There we go. That's a good start. One win and nine spells cast. Not a bad start. Seems good. Unless I think Usher's gonna get killed. Definitely gonna lead on Usher of the Fallen. Okay. I think it's fine like there's a good chance that my first creature dies here but i don't feel like it's over the top that it's gonna happen there's a least chance for me to get some value out of this that being said there's a stomp okay i think here i want to go with shepherd i want to get the most damage possible in Probably just going to see Bone Crusher Giant. Okay, never mind. They're really tight on having untapped lands. Okay, so definitely playing Faceless Haven. I don't see Tactician being worth holding back. Like, I'd rather just have the damage. And I'm not invested in uh, Bone Crusher Giant. Okay, I do want to get that out of play soon. Let's see. I want to lead this. I think I just want to lead with Basari's Lieutenant. Put this here. Swing. So I will want to hit this with Banishing Light at some point. Hopefully my opponent just casts Bone Crusher Giant and doesn't really do anything else. Which is what looks like is going to happen. They're looking awful hard at both these creatures. Okay. I still get a token. There's nothing bad about that. And now they don't have Bone Crusher Giant. Okay. I can cast this and cast that, but I think I'd rather just hit the Banishing Light, get Torbrin out of play, and then I'll cast Raptor. And then next turn I can play Banner. Now the question is okay, so I can't play Banner and Faceless Haven. see what my opponent does here. Okay. Yeah, I just want to get this banner into play. Let's get the cards that trade with Torbrin. Okay. 
And then next turn I can activate Faceless Haven. That works. And both of the this and the Faceless Haven trades with Bone Crusher Giant. So that works. So either way, Bone Crusher Giant goes. And then my opponent's at five, basically. And that's fine because the knight's free. Looking like it's a clean win. And looks like my opponent drew a lot of lands and this is a little bit too late. Give our opponent a good game. Okay. We'll be back to the video in just a sec. Just wanted to go over something cool I do on my Twitch called Stream Loots. It's these collection of cards that let you interact with me as I'm live streaming. Some have to do with the games I'm playing, others are just generic. Make me do random things as I'm playing, like doing a 360 in my chair. You can use them when I'm streaming live on Twitch. Just go to my page and look at the schedule and you can click here and see the next time I'll be live streaming. So I'll just be sailing through the game as Mario on Yoshi, getting through this no problem. And then the next thing you know, I'll have to throw my hands up and all of a sudden Mario and Yoshi are in the pits. Or I'll be running through the game as Samus, doing my normal thing. And next thing you know, I've got to stop boosting, which is going to make it difficult for me to get through here. So I'll be on here playing Magic, and then one of these will come up. And then you can make me use whichever emoji I have available for that account. Or you could even do things like... I'm playing here, I'm playing along, everything's going to be fine, and then next thing you know, I'm having to end my next turn regardless of what's going on, so I will not even take an action here. And there's even this one, which after I finish this match, the next match I will play a game against you you'll just have to give me your information in discord and we will set it up from there and there's also ones where I can play your deck or something like that to buy packs you just go to this button in the top right corner and click on it and see which one fits what you're wanting to do I've set all these prices to the lowest prices they'll let me do mostly just because I want to get the interaction up if you have any suggestions for cards you would like to see added to the Stream Loots page, just come over to my Discord and look up the Stream Loots channel and put your suggestions in the comment section. Links for Stream Loots, Twitch, Discord, and more are in the description below. And now back to the video. Yeah, I think there was some fortune as you see there. I think that a lot of those modal lands were probably drawn before my opponent started to flood, so kind of iffy on how that game could have gone differently. Definitely somebody playing on a little bit of a budget, though. Kind of like us. Ooh, Death Touch. Okay. That's definitely going to make Usher of the Fallen a little bit less valuable. It will at least give me a two for one. If I just swing into it, this is probably going to go get a Swamp. Oh, Island with Death Touch. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. I'm willing to do it. It's a little bit of a mana investment, but it is... Because I do get the replacement token and take out their creature, which any Death Touch things are going to cause problems. Okay. 
make sure that gets in for some damage. Can probably faceless save next turn. Oof. I'm going to need to banish that out of play soon. Opponent playing Snake Tribal. Let's see if my opponent counters this. Okay. Oof, okay. I wonder if... How's this card stack? Okay, the last part is the fight. Wondering if I could fizzle the whole effect, but I think it's going to do the first two parts. No. Okay. Nice. Okay. Let's go Faceless Haven. Tap both of these. Get Banner into play. Now this trades if my opponent wants to. I'm just going to get as many threats into play as possible. And I have Guide Mother and Tactician's uh, Adventure Sides. I have the Faceless Havens. Got quite a bit of action to try to finish this game off. So be a lot of spells cast too. Opponent's just passing turn. Could pump this as well. That's another interesting aspect. I think I want to keep this Shepherd of the Flock in play. So I'm going to give it the flying. And I can always pump a Noiner. Is it going to be another inscription? Okay, hopefully my opponent does not. Yeah, if they're just going to take this, then I'm going to make as many creatures as possible for next... Or not as many, but... I'll play Guide Mother, and then... Swoop to tap down the Quaddle. that should be a game here. Even if my opponent counters this, that should be game. But it's just a card they have to answer. I don't believe there's much my opponent can do here. I like the little snake theme, though.
Jace. That's fine. Let's tap these down. Cast this just because. Okay. Three wins. Four spells left to cast. Trying to go for the first perfect episode. This hand isn't great, but I am on the draw, so I'm probably going to be playing pretty slow anyway. And this hand does work well with playing a slow plan. Feels like my opponent's going to be playing something with uh, all that glitters. Which is a card I hope to be playing a theme deck for soon. Because I think it's really good. I think playing a Boggles type plan is really good right now. That being said, I wouldn't be playing Puppet. I'd be playing uh, Ginger Brute, which I'm assuming my opponent plays. Okay. I think with this, just playing Shepherd of the Flock, getting a little pressure out there will be good. Next turn, either play Tactician or Banner. Got all my faceless havens. See what my opponent does when I swing. Just block with a puppet and sacrifice it. Yeah. I'm just going to get the banner out there, get some more mana. Punnett could have sacrificed the puppet and then blocked with the 1-1, one, one, but... Alright, this is really strange. Okay. I'm going to go pacifism. Get this out of play. I think I'm just going to play one of these tacticians. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to play one of these tacticians. No reason to swing. Opponent can't activate Fiend Artisan. I will be able to start double Faceless Haven pretty soon. Okay. Okay, this is Hexproof Blue. So it's not anything I'm worried about. Okay, so I wonder if my opponent's going to sack and make a human first. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. Play tactician here. I have double tactician. Ooh, that's pretty good. Do I want to activate one of these is a question. What would my opponent block with? I think it'd be fine. Oh, I activated one that's... Oof. That's rough. Okay. 
All right, it's just a regular sapling. That's fine. Okay. So if my opponent makes a creature big enough, I can still use Giant Killer on it. And I have three flyers, so another banner would be really good. Terror of the Peaks. This is why I'm glad I have Giant Killer right now. Go for it. Go for it, opponent. Come on. Okay. Let's get that out of play. Just a selfless savior. Okay. Alright. Uh, activate. And I can play Giant Killer and have Swoop available. But they're going to take more damage than they gained. Next turn I'll tactician the weaver down. So it just depends on what they can do with these fiend artisans. Still pretty tight, but I think this is a win. Certainly that feels good. Seeing my opponent go five. Ah, it's just another one of those. Do you have anything? Let's tap these down. Okay, flyers, uh, went on flyers alone, yeah. Plus I can tap down with giant killer, good game, 4-0, got it, and that is going to be dailies finished. One more day before the pack openings. And then these decks get to look really solid. That's 850 plus another pack off of that. Go ahead and head into the store. That's 12 packs right now, plus the four off of there makes 16. Uh, potentially. One more pack, probably not going to hit it. But either way, get to do another daily. And we can get there. So probably looking at about at least 16. Probably looking at about 18 packs. So that'll be really good and really fun to look forward to. Thank you for watching this Squirrel's Nest video. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up. If you want to be a part of a live stream, come hang out with me on Twitch. Check out the Stream Loots page and feel free to throw those on me at the worst possible time. Any comments or ideas you would like to see in video, leave a message in the comments section in Discord or on Twitter. All links will be in the description below. Catch you squirrels later!